are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. Serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. Serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Ah, serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. Serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be sad. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Satisfied. Saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. Saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God, amen. Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Come to Jesus and be satisfied, amen. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God, amen. Saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. My saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. Saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. Saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. 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 Oh, saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. We are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. 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 Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. We are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. Saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God. Saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Come to 
Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. We're serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. Saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, they may saving a living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, come to Jesus and be satisfied. 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 Uh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God, amen. Living God, we are saving a living God. Oh, saving a living God, we are saving a living God, amen. Saving a living God, <coughs> we are saving a living God. <coughs> Hallelujah. We are saving a living God. The word of prayer, King of glory, a shade of day. I am that I am, the beginning and the end. Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for another privilege to be among the living. Father, thank you for all the unseen battle that you've been fighting for us, O oh Lord. Father, thank you for your divine protection, O oh Lord. Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord Jesus, Father. That is, te is teaching us all things, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for the fruit of, uh, fruit of the Spirit, O oh Lord, Father, that you have given to us. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus that is cleansing us from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit. Father, we thank you for the word of God that is showing us the way, the right direction. Father, we thank you. Thank you for saving us, O oh Lord, Father. Thank you for making us, O oh Lord, Father, to know the truth and the truth to make us free. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father. For opening our eyes, O oh Lord, Father, to the truth that we know today. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you the adoration. Thank you, Father. At this moment, O oh Lord, Father, I invite the Holy Spirit to come and take control, to come and take over, to talk through my mouth, O oh Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, to come and talk through me, O oh Lord. Give us the word of knowledge, the word of understanding, the word of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. I submit this hour into your hand, O oh Lord, Father. Come and take over, come and take control. I cover myself the blood of Jesus, silence every flesh in me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. <clears throat> uh, today I feel like sharing the word of God in the book of Titus 2. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. Also, um, by the grace of God, we see what the Bible says here. <clears throat> Hallelujah. King of glory, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the truth that we know. Father, we thank you for showing us the way of salvation. Hallelujah. Uh, the word of God says in Titus chapter 2, verse, let's start from verse 11 to 12. It's going to be very short, but it will edify our spirit in Jesus' name. The Bible is saying us for the grace of God that brings salvation as appeared to all men. Verse 12 said, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly, worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Hmm. It says to live righteously, to, to live righteously, godly in this present world and soberly. Hmm. To be sober in everything, to be watchful and also to be sober. So what is the Bible telling us here? The Bible is telling us here. The Bible is telling us here that in this present of we should live um a righteous righteous godly in this present or in this present or why because so many things that is going to happen the enemy is going to introduce so many things and the grace of god is not for us to take it for granted but the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to you and me no because jesus has died for us we need to fold our hands no the bible says we need to learn because the grace and salvation through our lord jesus appeared to us through that cross, he died on that cross to teach us how to deny ungodliness. What is the ungodliness and worldliness, worldly lust? The worldly lust that this Bible verse is talking about, that is, teach, is going to teach us how to deny those um, ungodliness, worldly lust. Because the worldly lust is the one that's killing. If you have to go back to, to the book of First John chapter one, chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2 verse 15. To 16 what is this what is that bible verse telling us what is that bible verse telling us here 
He's telling us, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If any man love the world, and the Bible here is telling us in, in 12, in the book of Tithe, chapter 2, verse 12, it says, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldliness lust, worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly, and godly <coughs> in this present world. So here now, it's said in 15, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What is those things that are in the world? If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's what the Bible says. In verse 16, it says, For all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, and the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Hallelujah. If it's not of the Father, it's of the world. That means it's going to pass away. That means it's going to pass away. But when you have the love of the Father, you are going to, to live for forever. The love of the, the, the loss of the, is the, <coughs> sorry, the loss of the eye, the one that the things that our eyes always lost after, it will not profit us anything. It will not profit us anything, but it will lead us to, to, to everlasting punishment. The love of the world. You want to copy the world. You want to copy the fashion of the world. And this one, some people, they copy their idol. It becomes musician. They'll tell you that this one is my idol. Every child that they'll bring, you too, as a child of God, you want to copy. You want to copy all those times. The Bible is telling us that. Can a person, a, can a safe person live in sin and remain safe? A safe person, can the safe person be safe, live in sin? A safe person live in sin and continue to be safe? No. We should not take the grace of God for granted. The Bible says here that for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It's not because the grace has appeared to you, because the grace is our Lord Jesus Christ dying in that cross. He died in that cross by giving us the grace to live a second life through his blood, the life of purification, not the life of sin, the life of sanctification through what? Through his blood, through the Holy Spirit. And that's why he said the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, including you and me. Including those people that are deep in sin, including homosexual, including gays, including all those whatever name they call themselves. The grace of God appeared to all of us. But to do what? To teach us. is to teach us how to deny all the ungodliness that will lead us to hell. All the worldliness that will lead us to hell. To deny it. Not to love them. That's why he's telling us love not the world, neither the things of the world. Because the things of the world will take you away from the love of the Father. He will make you to deny Christ without knowing that you are denying Christ. He will make you to deny Christ without knowing that you are sacrificing him at flesh in that cross. Can you say that I'm safe and continue living in sin? You cannot be safe and continue in sin. That is impossible. You cannot be safe and continue living a sinful life. He, com he, he continue to live a sinful life. <clears throat> Hallelujah. The grace, the, gra <clears throat> the grace give a will the grace give a believer a license to sin again, to continue to sin in the name of grace. Apostle Paul said, God forbid. The grace of God is to teach us how to deny all those things that is not pleasing God. It's not for us to remain on it. If you be a child of God <clears throat> but live in sin, that means you are not yet born again. Because a born again child of God is the one that has killed the flesh already with all his deeds. When you kill the flesh with all his deeds, you, then you become born again. That means you have died and you now came back to life. You have came back to life. That was say born again. Somebody that never died, he cannot be born again. We are talking about spiritual dead, physical dead, no physical dead. We are talking about dying in flesh, dying in the love of the world, dying in the... <clears throat> With the loss of the eyes, die with the loss of the things of this world that will not profit anything, but to make you to suffer in hell for eternity. That's the thing that we need to deny, the things that we need to kill in our life.
Kill all this worldly lust that make you to walk half naked, that to walk to make you to paint your face, that to make you to challenge God by planting fake hair in your head, by putting fake nails in your hand, correcting God that God has not created you well. When the Bible said that God said everything that he created, it was so good on the sixth day that he make him to rest on the seventh day. Now you want to tell God that he made a mistake of creating you the way you are. You want to change your skin color. You want to change the way your eyes is. You want to change the way your hair is. God give you the short hair because he knows that you look beautiful the way you are. He make you African because he loves you as African. He make other people Chinese. He make other people, only human beings that challenge God. Because the animal never challenge God. I never see where the lion will be complaining that, why did you create me a lion? You're supposed to make me giraffe. And he start copying the giraffe style. Lion will remain lion. You never copy giraffe style. You will not see chicken start bagging like a dog because you want to copy the way dog bagging. No, only human being that is not satisfied the way God created us. We want to change things in our own ways. We want to create our own righteousness, contrary to the righteousness of God. The born again Christian has the, has the fear of God in him. The fear of God is the one that makes you not to do all this ungodly thing because you know that by the time you do it, the Holy Spirit will rebuke you and the Father is not happy for it. The fear of God will make you to do the will of God, not contrary to the will of God. It will make you to obey the will of God the way it is. It is not because we are saved that you have to misuse grace. We cannot misuse grace. Grace is there to teach us. Grace is not there to encourage us in the bad way, but to teach us in the right way by denying all those things that will take us out of the will of God. That is the work of flesh and the work of the will of God in us. The Bible is telling us in Romans 6 verse 1, what should we say then? This is Apostle Paul talking. Asking question, what should we say then? Shall we continue in sin that the grace may abound? May abound? In verse 2 say, God forbid, how shall we then, how shall we that we are dead to sin and live in any longer therein? When you are dead in sin, you can no longer live in, in, that, in that very life that you used to live before because you are dead, you have killed that life, you destroyed that life. You are now a spirit. And the Bible is telling us we should walk in the spirit. Because if you walk in the spirit, we are not going to fulfill the work of the flesh in us. Because for the work of flesh to work, it needs flesh. For the spirit to work, do the work of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, it needs spirit. The work of spirit it cannot work in flesh. It's contrary one to another. They don't meet, they don't be together, they don't work together. Whether you work in the spirit. Or you are walking in the flesh. But you cannot be in between. You cannot be in between. That is impossible. <clears throat> you understand? We need to be converted to repent from our evil deeds. We need to change our ways of living if we want to make heaven. Yes, we all have grace. But it's only those that you, you will learn from that grace that will be saved. Like the Bible says, those that will decide to be, to, be the, to be the learner because it's there to teach us, to teach us to deny, to deny all those things that will not profit us for anything. We need to learn. It will teach us how to dress modesty, how to dress well in the way that it will please our God to cover our body. The beauty of a woman is not by exposing your body. That is not the beauty. That is the worldly loss of the world that you call sin to the eyes of many. That's why the Bible says in First John uh, uh, two, in First John two, uh, <coughs> two fifteen, it says in two in two uh, sixteen, the loss of the flesh and the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life, you know. Everybody is beautiful in the eyes of God, our creator. Somebody, where there are 10 persons, somebody can see you beautiful. To, the, the, the two people can see you beautiful. Another two people can see you ugly in one thing that they don't agree with. 
We are all perfect in the, we're supposed to be perfect in the eyes of God because He has created us all beautiful. We are beautiful and wonderful men in the eyes of God because He's the one that loves us the way we are. It's not any man. Today we start losing after other people's appearance because we are not satisfied the way God created us. We are not satisfied. We are start copying other people, long hair, you too, you want to have long hair, you want to have light skin, like other people, they have light skin, you know, people doing, uh, uh, people doing uh, operation to change their way, and many, many people dying. It's very sad to see somebody dying, you know, I lost one of my friends. She want to do operation. The first one worked for her. And the second one, she died for it. The second one went wrong. Now, if you appear before God, dying in the process of surgery because you want to correct one God, what God has perfect in your life, you want to correct it, seeing it that it was wrong, the way God created you, and you want to change another way. What do you think you appear before God on that day of judgment? What will you tell him? What will you tell him? Let us be content of what we have. God created you the way you are. He always provide. He also provides the husband that will love you the way you are, without changing anything. God created everybody with His own partner. He gave you a dark skin, a, a skin because He knows that your husband will love that dark skin. He gave you the way you are. Flat stomach or a flat uh, uh, bump, he knows that your husband will love that one. So don't go and follow other multitude. Don't go and follow other multitude to change the way God created you to start losing after the world. Ah, because the world is doing it, let me also go and do it. It's not meant for the children of God. It's meant for the world, and we are not the, for, of the world. We are not of the world. We are just passing by. Wherever in the world, everything is vanity because it's going to perish. It's going to perish with those that love it. That's why the Bible is telling us that to build our treasure in heaven, where no thief or no conqueror will be able to destroy, but will be safe for us until we go back there and we meet it there. Love not the world, neither the thing of the world. All this world is going to pass away, but your judgment and my judgment is going to remain there until we have to face it. There is no way to run from it. So take the grace of God as a school. It's teaching you things that you need to do, things that you need to practice. And one of them is to deny one of them is to deny the things that is not pleasing our Father. Some of them is to deny the thing that is not pleasing God. That is the work of the grace. It's not for us to remain, to continue in sin. It's for us to change our ways of living. It's, the way to, it's for us to practice the word of God. It's for us to be the doer of it. It's for us to be the evidence of that transformation through the word of God. So let us check the way we dress. Stop painting your face. Listen, I used to use to sell all these things. I used to use all these things. If you see my past pictures and my present picture, if you see me now, it's like a two different people. And it's true. We are two different people. Because when you use those things, you are putting fake appearance on you. You are no longer appear the way God created. You become a new person with that makeup. It will change your original appearance. It will give you fake one. And people will be lost with the fake one. And those fake one brings demon in the life of believers is not good for us i used to sell all these makeups i used to sell fake hair i used to bleach my skin too but when i come to the knowledge of truth i have to drop all those things for my soul to be saved what will profit a man to gain the whole world to gain all the the thank you to the all you are beautiful to gain all this um sweet sweet world and at the end of the day you are you appear useless and poor and tormented by demons in hellfire so what will you profit getting all these compliments now and will lead you to destruction will lead you to everlasting punishment it will lead you to everlasting punishment what will you profit
What will you profit people? Be wearing things like, you know, painting your face like a mad person, like a Christmas tree in your head. The way you decorate your body, you think that people are lastly sending people to hell. You think this is good. Huh? What will you profit all this thing? Making people to lust after you. Making people to sin, to commit sin, leading people to hell because of your way of dressing. Because God has promoted that body is supposed to be for your husband, for your wife, not for other people. You are making people to deviate from the original way of God to another way, to everlasting punishment. Change the way of dressing. Stop putting, stop correcting God. God has created you beautiful the way you are. Look at me. I love my skin today. I used to hate my skin. I was putting so many... Uh, if you see my past picture, one of these days, I'll share them. You see that it's like a two different people. But God gave me the grace to know this message that I did not die with that, that, ignorance, uh, way, uh, that ignorance way that I used to live before. I could have found myself in hellfire, suffering right now, asking for one minute. When I have plenty time to repent, I thank God for my life. I thank God for the second chance God gave me through the grace of God that is teaching me daily to deny all this ungodliness. I'm not saying that I'm better than you, my sister. Don't interpret me wrongly. I'm not saying that I'm better than you, my brother. I just that obtain, I obtain the grace and the same grace I obtain, it also appeared to you. Just that. You don't want to listen to what the Holy Spirit is teaching you. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Accept Him to teach you how to deny all this ungodliness. Then we'll be fighting, we'll be striving to enter. Because at time it will change outside, but you are still struggling inside. That's why the work of the Holy Spirit is there. The work of grace is there to teach us how to deny. He did not say just godliness. He said worldliness. He said to teach us that denying ungodliness and the worldly loss, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. What is said in this present world? Before he was born, everything was already written. God knew that the enemy will introduce so many evil fashion, so many evil things in this present world. That will make even the children of God to be lost after it. That's why he said that we should be sober. To deny all these things. To deny all these things that are going to happen in this present world. The way people are dressing today. In our old, old the time, our great parents, our parents, they were not holding like this. There was no dressing like this. The worldliness has exceeded all the limits. People walking half naked thinking that everything is fine. Covering only 20%, 25% of their body. The 75 one is posed. And they think it's normal. When it's not normal? In the name of fashion. Fashion of this present world. May God give us the grace to learn how to deny all those things. Not just for us, for our children. Intercede for your children. Intercede for your siblings. Hell is not the place for you. It's not the place for me. It's not the place for our children. It's not the place of our family. It's not the place of anyone but the demons. It's the place of demons. God created hell for demons. That's why Jesus came to die for us so that you and I will be saved through the blood of Jesus to avoid hell fire. Because the suffering in hell fire, you don't want to see it. If you see the suffering in hell fire, or if you imagine the suffering in hell fire, you don't want to live in sin. So change your ways now. Because the rapture can take place as you before you close. Let us walk our salvation with fear and trembling. So, I don't want to take much of your time. I will continue by the grace of God when God will have me another opportunity. We will continue from where we stop today. We need to continue this topic. May the Lord bless you all. Have a wonderful night full of vision and revelation. Be blessed. Shalom.